How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student. And today I'm going to be talking to you about why I think it's so, so, so important for any person, any medical provider, doctors, nurse practitioners, even pharmacists to educate your patients about the drugs that they're taking because it can mean a matter of life and death. I really wanted to make this video because of a personal experience I had when interviewing a patient a couple of weeks ago and it really blew my mind and opened my eyes to the fact that there are so many medical providers who don't give adequate medication education to their patients and why it's causing such a huge health disparity in our country especially if patients don't know how why and they're taking their medication it's going to affect the way that they decide to adhere and continue to take their medication. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a patient come into the office and before I saw her, the uh, medical assistant informed me about the why, why she's here at this visit. I think it's a really, really cool way for me to know what's going on before I even visit the room. So when I got the paperwork about why she's here, it, it, it basically said a one-liner and the one-liner was patient is here to discuss high blood pressure medication, side effects, and patient hasn't been taking her blood pressure medications for more than two weeks. And then when I looked at her vitals, her blood pressure was super high because of the fact that she wasn't taking her blood pressure medication because of some side effect that it was causing, which made it really uncomfortable for her to take. So I went into this visit with an open mind, trying to figure out and get to the bottom of why this patient wasn't taking her medications. So I went in there and I introduced myself and I was like, tell me what's going on. Um, I see that you're not taking this medication that you're prescribed. Um, tell me the story of what's happening. And she said, you know, I got prescribed this class of drugs that's supposed to lower my blood pressure. But one of the side effects that I've been having is that it's causing my feet to swell so, so bad that it's causing discomfort. It's making it hard for me to walk. I can't even put on my shoes, much less put on my socks. So it's affecting my quality of life to the point where I can't really do anything and I'm in so much pain because of the swelling that at this point, it's better for me to not take this medication at all. And, you know, beforehand, I had looked through uh, the charts and saw that she was on a specific class of blood pressure lowering drugs called calcium channel blockers. And I know from my education in medical school that a rare side effect that some people have with this class of blood pressure lowering drugs is that it causes feet to swell. And then the patient went on to say, well, last month I came here and I saw another provider and this provider gave me another medication. And uh, she basically said, if I take this medication, uh, my swelling will go away, but it hasn't done that. So I decided not to take both medications. So I was a little confused about that because I know that's usually not standard practice if someone is experiencing side effects of a medication to prescribe something else to make those side effects go away. It's not, not for blood pressure medications. We usually just prescribe a completely other drug. So I looked at this new drug that was prescribed to her and turns out this was a replacement blood pressure medication to replace what she was taking before because this new blood pressure medication side effects does not include swelling of the feet. So essentially what the previous provider had said, but didn't explain very well, is that she was going to prescribe a new class of high blood pressure medication that will help lower her blood pressure and not cause these side effects. So she should discontinue the old medication and start this new medication. But because the provider had only given the direction of just take this and your swelling will go away, the patient didn't understand how to take the medication. So this patient had gone two months thinking that, oh, this new pre prescription that I was prescribed is going to help with the swelling, not knowing that that was not what it was prescribed for. It was to replace the old medication that was causing the swelling because this new medication will do the same thing that the old medication did without the side effect of swelling. So she ended up thinking that you know, this medication is not working and reducing my swelling and ended up throwing both medications away. So I sat down with her and I was like, you know, I think I, I figured out what, what's going on. I think that, you know, you weren't explained well about uh, the, how these medications work. So the new medication that you, you got, it's actually not to reduce your swelling, 
because it won't do that. It's actually another blood pressure medication that uh, was prescribed to you so that you won't have swelling as a side effect compared to the one that you were taking before. And she was like, oh my God, that's what it's for? And it was one of those moments where I realized that it just takes five minutes out of your day to sit down with your patient and explain to them why you're prescribing what drug and what its use is for instead of just being like take this and it'll do this this and that just take some time to sit down with your patient and explain what the mechanism of action of this drug will do to your body so the patient is aware of the drugs that they're taking and what those drugs do it just blew my mind knowing that there are people out there that are just expecting their patients to figure it out or expecting their patients to not be well versed enough to understand what the drugs do and of course i am i wasn't there when that situation happened i can't i can't you know put judgment on the other provider i definitely don't want to do that but i do want this to be a lesson for me and for everyone that's watching this video to ask questions if you're confused about what this drug that I'm being prescribed for, what does it do? What What is its cause? Why am I taking this? So that you can better understand and advocate for yourself on the drugs that you need and how to best approach talking to your doctor. But if you are a provider watching this video, this is a lesson for you to just take, just take a couple minutes out of your visit there's no need to rush a visit. Just take a couple minutes out of your visit to teach your patients about the drugs that they are taking. Anyways, that was it from this week's video. Um, you know, it just, that, that specific incident just really, really, really got to my core about why it's so, so important. I feel like as medical providers, we tend to think that, you know, patients will know everything that we tell them. Um, we don't have to explain a lot because we already know what these classes of drugs do, but I, I'm, I'm sure uh, the majority of patients have no idea the difference between amlodipine and hydrochlorothiazide and ACE inhibitors and ARPs. They don't know any of that because they haven't been in med school. So it's our duty as providers to take time and explain that so that everybody who hasn't been to medical school understands what that drug does. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned something and I hope that you'll share it with someone that may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my daily life, activism work, and the shenanigans I get into. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.